What's up guys, Johnny Kinsvater here with Concert Addiction, and we had a fuck ton of news drop so far this week, and I've been pretty shitty about making the videos, but I'm getting on it, this is the first video I'm going to make, this is the latest story that's dropped, even though there's been a bunch of others, like I said, I'll get to those, and uh, throughout this week, it's been a week of announcements, really, announcements of retirement, and things like that, specifically, earlier this week, we learned Neil Diamond's no longer going to tour, he's not even doing a file, final tour because of his new diagnosis and things like that, I'll make a video about that. So Neil Diamond's done, then Slayer announced that they're hanging it up after one more tour, and then yesterday Elton John announced that he's packing it in after one more tour, even though his next tour is going to run for three years. He's retiring, and then today we got another one, which is that one of the, probably the biggest and most iconic southern rock band of all time, Leonard Skinner, is hanging it up, supposedly. All these bands announce final tours, but they usually end up touring again, but we'll see. Might not be the case with this one. Leonard Skinner announced the uh, Last of the Street Survivors fail Farewell Tour, which Last of the Street Survivors is uh, one of their latest songs. And uh, yeah, Farewell Tour uh, kicking off in May and running through the summer. They have some pretty big guests sprinkled throughout the lineup, including their final show and things like that. People like Kid Rock and Hank Williams Jr., uh, Bad Company... Uh, Charlie Daniels Band, Marshall Tucker Band, 38 Special, Blackberry Smoke, and Blackfoot are all also set to make appearances on Leonard Skinner Leonard Skinner's final run. Uh, so that will be cool to see all them guys sharing the stage together for one last time. Leonard Skinner's been a band for 45 years, which is a long-ass time, and they've been through some shit in that 45 years. So it's amazing that they've even made it this far. They were called the most unlucky band in the history of the world at one point in time. They had the plane crash. They've had other members' illness get sick and things like that the one time. I haven't seen Leonard Skinner the one time that I was going to see them. It ended up getting canceled because one of the members had a heart attack. Things like that. So I haven't seen them yet. And unfortunately, this tour is not coming anywhere close to me. So hopefully they announce more dates so it does. So I get a chance to see them. But nonetheless... Uh, if anyone has the right to retire, it's people who like this who have been through so much and accomplished so much. It's going to suck that we won't be able to see them anymore, but they've earned the right to hang it up whenever they want, and they're calling it now. 45 years, that's a hell of a run. So, yeah, the tour starts in May, May 4th at, in West Palm Beach, Florida, and the final show is going to be September 1st in Atlanta, Georgia. So runs throughout the entire summer. And like I said, I don't know the specifics. They're not touring with a specific band, but all these different bands and people are going to pop up on their tour. And then the final show is supposed to be a big blowout. I think that's where Kid Rock and Hank Jr. and all them guys are all going to play together. So that's a hell of an announcement. Like I said, one of uh, like the fourth uh, retirement announcement that we've got this week. So uh, pretty cool. Like I said, they've earned it. And uh, who knows, they could decide to reunite in a couple years and start playing shows again because Kiss has gone on like five farewell tours and the Scorpions have done like two. So sometimes bands don't actually hang it up. I guess we'll see. But so that's going to do it for this one. Like I said, all those other news things that I mentioned, I'll be making videos and dropping those too. Um, it's just a matter of time. I've been kind of busy and things like that. But until then, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you don't miss them. Check out my top ten list. Uh, it's individual videos I put up at the end of last year. And uh, see what my top ten favorite shows of last year were. Um, I got another show coming up uh, on Tuesday. I'm going to be checking out Three Doors Down, Acoustic, uh, Back Porch, Jam. Thing. So that recap will be up next week. I'll keep dropping these news videos too. Check out my Facebook page and my website, facebook.com slash concertaddiction and concertaddiction.com and never miss anything going on in the world of live music. Uh, that's going to do it for uh, this one, so stay tuned for those other videos to drop. Thanks for watching. Bye.